A new study is likely to cause concern for women. It suggests that some fertility drugs may increase the risk of uterine cancer. Joining us to sort it out, Early Show medical contributor Dr. Holly Phillips. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. For women out there listening, which drugs specifically are we talking about? Well, one of the most important that was addressed in this study is clomiphene. It's also known as Clomid, and it is probably the most common fertility drug used today. Uh, the way Clomid works is it, sti it makes the body think its estrogen levels are lower than they actually are, and that helps with ovulation to release more eggs. That helps women become pregnant. And the study found a link between women who took that drug and uterine cancer later in life? It did. This study was significant in that it followed women for 30 years, and so it looked at their entire lifetime risk of developing cancers, and it did find a three to four time increase uh, in uterine cancer in women who had taken this drug. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen a link between uh, things that modulate estrogen and uterine cancers, uh, but this is one of the first times we've seen this type of link with the fertility drugs. And doesn't it make sense biologically because drugs like tamoxifen which do you know have a similar effect as these drugs have been known to to cause cancer potentially well, well right well what we do know is tamoxifen and other other as well particularly unopposed estrogens have been linked with uterine cancer and that's why we don't use them say in after menopause now we we're very particular about using estrogen with progestin uh, these these fertility drugs are not estrogens but they do modulate the way the body processes hormones so I do think it's something important to look at uh, now this study did find a link but we have to be honest previous studies have not found a link and they've mm -hmm. said that they're completely right. safe uh, so I think what we really have to take from this is that that more study is needed. Uh, but these drugs are so common right now. Many, many women are taking fertility drugs, and I don't want them to feel uncomfortable or as though they shouldn't take them. It's just that they need to be monitored. It's hard, though, not, not to feel that way when you hear something like this. Certainly, right? certainly. I think the process of taking hormones is, is a scary one in, in many ways. Uh, again, clomiphene itself isn't a hormone, but it changes the way our body processes certainly processes hormones. Um, so I think it's one of those things that we need to look at carefully. Just consider this when, when weighing the option, I guess. Absolutely. All right, Holly, thank you. Sure.